how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what's sold videos, I'll do unboxings like this, I'll do hauls, all that good stuff. So if that is something you're interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. All right, so in this video, I am doing a thread up unboxing. This is the fun box. Um, if you saw a recent video of mine, I unboxed the designer DIY box and that one was absolutely amazing. When you're watching this, I just unboxed that and now I'm moving on to this one. This one came from Pennsylvania. And the reason I got this was the last couple of fun boxes I got were actually really great. <laughs> so when it popped up again, I decided to jump on it. I will say though, these fun boxes can be a real miss sometimes, but for $30, they're kind of worth the risk. Especially if you do end up getting a couple of amazing pieces, then they really pay off. It costs $24 and then shipping is $5.99. It's wrapped pretty nicely. Pennsylvania has been doing a pretty good job. I'd say. This is already just kind of looking a little bit underwhelming, um, but let's just get into it. All right, these kind of look fancy. I've never heard of them. It's called Hanro um, of Switzerland. And it says touch feeling soft hand row exclusive microfiber. So I don't know if it's the bra or the underwear or both. It says size small and it says black and has a style number. And it has a picture of like those. So I'm assuming it's the boxers. Oh, okay, I like these boxes, especially when I get bras because they're always new with tags, at least from what I've received, which is nice. It's nice to have new with tag undergarments, especially bras because bras can be so expensive. Um, this is like a cute little lacy bra, metallic, and then it has like rhinestones here on the straps. I don't know how comfortable that'd be. It's pretty sheer, but it is Victoria's Secret, which is amazing. Victoria's Secret, and again, new with tags. This is a 34 triple D, so I feel like that's a pretty unique size. And it was originally 5650. So cute. I really love selling Victoria's Secret. All right, so this is Kathy Ireland, um, like boot leg warmers <laughs> that you'd like, um, if you had tall boots, you'd stick these on over tall boots. I do see people get these a lot in the fun boxes. I've never gotten one. Just say Kathy Ireland. There is some like fuzzies coming off. It doesn't really seem to be that high quality. I was thinking maybe if it was Ireland, it would be like wool, but um, it's definitely hasn't been worn because it is like attached to this. I might list these, we'll see. Um, and make a good stocking stuffer. Mm, these are cute. So these are Urban Outfitters, like slip-on furry mules, um, kind of like a square toe, which is funny. This, I don't know what this is, if it came from the store, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, I think it's a sample. Cause it says photo sample on it. Hopefully, oh, here we go. Made in China, size nine. I don't know, but they do seem to be really great condition. <laughs> I've received like sample things like a few times in the past. I don't know why. It just seems like I always end up with them. They're from 2017, but they don't really seem like they've been worn. And I don't think things sell better because they're a sample, but it's kind of cool to have a sample. So this is a bracelet. I really love, I have been loving the fun boxes and they've been sending jewelry because they have been like indicating what it is up here. But that also just tells me that it probably says somewhere on the piece what it is. It has like a little gold chain, um, probably to keep it clasped. This seems pretty tiny, um, but it does say J. Crew, and then yeah, it has like this <laughs> round thing right there. It says J. Crew on, you probably can't see it, um, but J. Crew will almost always like denote what they are, um, like denote that it is J. Crew on it. I got a J. Crew new tag necklace in my last box, fun box, and then in my first ever fun box, I got a pair of J. Crew earrings and those sold very well very quickly. So that's exciting. I don't always sell jewelry. Really pretty. I don't even know if I showed you guys. Um, like gold tone with these black probably faux stones and like jewels. <laughs> Hopefully I could find this online and maybe get a little bit more information. I was able to look up the earrings online and they told me sort of like what kind of metals they were made out of. That was my fifth piece. This is only the second time I've gotten like a really big bag. Um, but this is, this reminds me of my childhood so hard. This is Victoria's Secret and it's sort of drawn all over. This is probably like a free with purchase sort of bag. It is a little bit dirty on the inside. I'm trying to open it. <laughs> Let's see, it looks gross on here, but it is kind of gross in there, but nothing I couldn't clean up pretty easily. Um, yeah, 
It's a cute tote. I don't really know how much to go for it. It's very fun. Look at this. It's a fedora. That's hilarious. It's made of 100% paper. It's a Target fedora. Um, maybe my fiance wants it. He would not, like, as a joke, like, he would not wear this. I'm not feeling it. Fun, but I'm definitely gonna donate that. Okay, so let me have a couple of bagfuls of things, which is always fun. Um, I think they usually count these as, like, one item. All right, so we got a couple of new tag things. I, I also love this... Um, box because I tend to get a lot more new tag items and definitely like kind of like stocking stuff for gifty things which is great again um, coming on Christmas so this is all Olivia Oliver Oliver Bonas I don't know what that means um, it does say it's 100% polyester and it's made in China but it's this very soft um, I'm guessing like winter headband that you put over your head it has a little bit of stretch but it does kind of seem a little small to me um, but it kind of looks like rabbit fur but it's not and then we got a couple of new tag, like dollar store, fluffy socks, um, from Carnival. These are definitely something my mom would like throw in my stocking if I had one. These I might just do like free with purchase, free gift with purchase. Um, so this is like a little makeup bag from Lulu Guinness. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it must be some sort of makeup thing. But it says, oh, please do not kiss me. Oh, please do not kiss. Oh, please. And then it just says, oh. <laughs> and it says LG down there. And it does have, it says LG on this little like mirror looking zipper up here. That's kind of funny. This also excites me. I love headbands. And especially if these are unbranded, I'll probably just end up keeping them. I have been looking for like a knot style one like this. These are just so cute and easy to like dress up for like the holidays. This one's like a fabric metallic. And then this one's like a ruched design. Um, you could tell they're like metal headbands, but it's nice because they have like these little end caps on them because those can really, really hurt. Then I got this cute little keychain, um, a little coach keychain. Oh, they all flipped over, of course. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, definitely looks a little bit older with that pattern on it, but it's cute. Um, the ring itself doesn't say coach, so. I mean, none of it says coach. I do have a couple of coach purses um, that are real <laughs> that um, I'm selling my closet. So again, maybe like a little free gift of purchase just because I'm not 100% sure if that is authentic. All right, and then we get a couple more pieces. So these are like a little shapewear. They are size small. I don't know how many size small people are looking for shapewear, but uh, shapewear is usually a really good sell. They were originally $36. Um, they're in the color black and they're yummy by Heather Thomas, which don't know about that, but with the holidays coming up, I'm sure somebody will want that. All right. And then last is this wallet. It is coach. Um, and it is kind of in a little rough condition. There's pen up there, a few marks down here, but it is leather. It says made in Thailand. It does have a number on it, which is good. But yeah, very simple, very clean on the inside. Classic wallet again it says coach on the inside this is a great um color for the holidays and i found a lucky penny i've already made one penny back on my investment yeah in general i wouldn't be too excited about this there's also like sort of like a bald spot right up there where the leather's sort of rubbed off um and i could clean it up a little bit then this will probably get a good amount of money not like too 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 much no maybe like 30 Five forty. So yeah, that was really exciting. Let me know what you guys thought about this box. I really liked it. Um, it's definitely better than a lot of the throw up boxes I used to see. I used to see um, when I was first getting these rescue boxes, a lot of really bad ones. Like they'd have a lot of socks, like these ones that seem more like fillers. Um, just a lot of cheapier things, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. I love those slides. Um, the bra was definitely probably the best thing in this box. The coach purse, we shall see about that. And then I did have a little bit more throwaway items, um, but there always is like a handful of like stuff that nobody wants. And that's why it's in the fun box because it's fun. So yeah, again, let me know what you guys thought. I'll probably get this box again if I see it. I'm trying to slow down on my, um, mystery box purchases. But this one I feel like is always just, has been at least the last few times pretty consistently good. That I can all change with one box. We all know that. Let me know if you got this box before. And yeah, I hope you have a great time sourcing and selling and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.